if we are all ready and set to go. Perfect. Love it. Let's jump back. Let's get in our space. Just before I start the timer, I want to make sure that our legs are nice and warmed up. So we're just going to do a couple of mobility exercises. So open up your hip flexors. We want to make sure we're feeling nice and mobile. We're going to get no hip pain. We use our hips a lot when we do leg exercises. So making sure that we're warming those up correctly. We're just going to take our hip, draw a nice big circle. Simply just pushing forward and all the way back. You might feel a little stretch here in your hips as you come around the front as well. Completely normal. We need to stretch it out. Good, I'm pushing it over to one side and then the other. Nice. Good, and finally, if you need to grab onto something, do, but if not, we're just going to take a little leg swing, taking it all the way forward and all the way back. Get some range of motion going on. Good, I feel, I feel like we're energised this morning. I like it, I feel like we're nice and awake, we're ready to go, we're ready to have some fun. Other side. Well done for getting up and being here as well, sometimes it's not easy. We might be feeling tired, it is the weekend, but you're going to feel great for doing this. Perfect, and let me start the time out, I'm going to go on to exercise number one. The first exercise we're going to do is a jump squat, but it's a little bit different. As we jump up out of our squat, we want to hit our feet together. So we're going to squat down and jump like so. So you're going to bring your feet together in the air. Let's go. Squatting down and jumping up. Good. As we land back down, making sure our knees are going over our ankles. We're not rolling them in or out. This is a real leg burner, a real warm up. Really nice. Let me see you all. Perfect. Keep it going. We got this. Nice. Making sure we've got a nice soft landing as we do come back down. Don't land on straight legs. 10 seconds. Push through. We can do this. One more. Amazing. Give those legs a shake. Are we feeling it already? I hope so. We're going to lunge forward, squat to the side, lunge to the back, then move over onto the other leg. Are you ready? We're going forward, squat side, lunge back, together, other side, forward, squat side, lunge back, lovely, together. Nice. Don't rush these. Get in some nice deep breaths. Catch your breath back. Get low. Stay low as well. Nice. We're working all angles here. Final time, all the way around. Two, three, lovely. Grab a drink if you need it, stay hydrated. We're going to drop down to the floor. We're doing a single leg hip thrust. So we're coming up onto our hands and our legs. One leg up, you're going to drop your bum to the floor. Push your hips up. Down and up. As we come down to the floor, we're not putting any weight into our bum. We're not sitting down. We're just lowering and then thrusting nice and powerfully up to the ceiling. Good. Swap legs. Really nice. Make sure those shoulders are back and down. Elbows are soft. And you are squeezing those glutes at the top of your hip thrust. Last one. Good. Really nice. Fire hydrant. So, coming onto our hands and knees. We're going to bring our knee up. 
and extend it, bring it in and back down without putting it on the floor. If you can't do the extension, just bringing it up and down, you don't have to extend. So you can just do this, you can just bring it up and down like so, or you can bring it up, extend, in and down. Nice, we're going to do one leg on this round and one leg on the next. If you are getting in the extension, you're working your glute and your quad. Doesn't matter how high you can get it, or even if you can't straighten it all the way. One more. Lovely. We're going to come up. Now we're jumping back up. We're going to do standing donkey kick. So if you need to hold on to something, go for it. That's fine. We're going to bring our knee back and then out to the side. A little bit similar to the movement we just did. But we are standing. Hold that core in. Good. Try and hold on to something if you have something around that you can. And squeeze your glutes back, then squeeze them out to the side. Good, again, we're gonna do one leg this time, and then one leg on the next round. I could just do donkey kicks all day. I find them so engaging. They really engage your glutes. So I really want you to squeeze. Keep that underneath leg nice and soft. Last one. Perfect, we're coming on to number six already. Where is the time going? We're going to do a squat down and a calf raise. So we're simply just squatting down and then calf raising up. Coming right up onto your tiptoes. We can get some speed on these. They don't have to be too slow. Let's get as many in as we can. Push right up onto your toes. Perfect. Really nice. Engage that core to help you stabilize as you come up onto your tiptoes. Lovely, you guys look fabulous. Keep it going, we got this. We are smashing through this leg session. Amazing. Five seconds. One more. Perfect, okay. I've got a little bit of a challenge for you now. We're coming into a nice narrow squat, so I want your legs at hip width. We're going to squat all the way down, come up halfway, come back down, and then come up all the way. So down, half, down, up. Yes, down, half, down. Lovely, making sure you're squeezing on the ups. Even when you come up halfway, we can really squeeze those glutes. Perfect. And all the way up. Down. Half. Down. I want you to get super duper low. Trying to get your bum in line with or possibly even lower than those knees. Awesome, guys. Keep it up. Last one. Awesome, you are killing it. We're coming down onto the floor. Next one. Okay, lying down on our side. One leg is coming up and over, just like so. Top leg's bent out in front. You're gonna lift up the underneath leg. Keep it straight. You can be up on your elbow, you can lay down, however you want to. Now this might look quite relaxing, quite comfortable, but I assure you, if you are lifting that leg up really high, you're gonna feel this in your inner thigh. We are really working those inner thighs right here. Good, 10 seconds left. Squeeze them together. Amazing. Three, two, and one, yes. Did anyone else start getting cramped? That just means that we're working super duper hard. Coming back up. We've got a little bit of cardio going on next. We're going to do some gliders. So we're just hopping side to side. 
Try and get some real movement. Keep those knees soft. Good, we're just gliding side to side. Soft knee. Can we get some speed on these? Yes, amazing. Keep it going. Cardio intervals, we love them. 15 seconds. This is our second to last exercise. You guys are killing it. Good, really try and step out nice and wide. Three, two, one. Final exercise, finishing on some cardio. Hands behind our head, straight and wide jumps. Wide, going straight, two, three, four, wide. Four jumps each. Yes. Amazing, keep it going. Really nice work. This is our final exercise. Then we're taking a little break, rehydrating, catching our breath, and going again. Because we can, because we got this. Really nice. Final 10 seconds. Soft knees going through our feet as we jump. Last one. Perfect. Amazing. You guys are working so hard. I want you to make sure you hydrate, catch your breath, and let me know of any questions that you have. Anything at all. I love that we're all good. We're so good at this. We're like pros now. It's fine. We got this. We're feeling it, but we're pushing through. And that is the main point that we're trying super hard. Good. Okay. I feel like we look ready. I want a nice little thumbs up when we are. Are we rehydrated though? Make sure you've had some water. I'm going to restart the clock. And we're going to go again from the beginning. You guys have so got this. Are you ready? Go for those squat jumps, touching the feet together. Let's do this. Off we go. Squat down and hit those feet together. I know these are a super burner, but take your time. Do them in your own pace. Make sure you're not landing on straight legs. Nice soft knees going through our feet. Good, 10 seconds. Let's go. Amazing. Three, two, one more. Perfect, give those legs a shake. We got forward, side, back, swap. Are you ready? Let's go. Deep breaths. Breathe through. This is your chance to catch back your breath, but still work your legs. You've got this. We look like we are doing a fabulous job. Nice, get nice and low, take your time. 10 seconds. Okay, give me one more, one more round. Perfect. Coming down onto the floor now. So single leg hip thrusters. We're doing the other leg this time, remember? Coming up, onto your hands and your feet, other leg out, and we're going to thrust it up. Good, nice. Remember, squeeze those glutes at the top. Nice. 
Nice sharp breath out as you push your hips up to the sky. Shoulders back and down. Core engaged. And we're not placing our bum down on the floor. It's simply lowering down and hovering. Really nice. Stay with me now, one more. Perfect, okay. Now we're doing the same thing. We're coming onto the other side, doing those fire hydrants. And if possible, leg extensions. Are you ready? Let's go, up, extend out. Good. Again, we're not putting the knee down. The knee doesn't touch the floor. It stays out the whole time. Lovely. This energy is insane, I love it. Waking up on a Saturday morning to all of you guys putting in some serious hard work makes me feel super duper lucky. 15 seconds. Pushing it, we got this. Making sure that we're on the other side as well to last time. Yes, okay, jumping up. Other side for those donkey kicks. Nice and standing, soft knee on the underneath leg. Grab hold, push in back and out. Good, get as high as you can. Try and keep your knee and your foot in line with each other the whole time. Lift them both up together to the side. Good, engage your core. Yes, can we feel that burn? It feels good. We push through it, and we know that we're working hard by doing so. Good, making sure you're squeezing your glutes so you're not just relying on your hip flexors to lift the leg out to the side. You have to squeeze your glutes too. Last one right here. Good, let's go, squat calf raises next. I want you to really push up onto your tiptoes. Your heels should be coming forwards. They shouldn't be tickling in or out. Nice narrow stance. Let's go, and up. Good, let's get some speed on these. Very nice. We should all feel really, really proud of ourselves. We've done amazingly well this morning. Good. Really nice work. Remember to get low. Lovely. Making sure you get up onto the tiptoes in order to feel it in your calves. We've got five seconds. Three, two, one. Perfect. Now remember what we did before. If you need to, grab a drink. But we came down all the way, up halfway, down again, and then all the way up. We're gonna do that again, are you ready? Let's go. Down, up, down, all the way. Lovely. Down, up, squeeze. Especially on this halfway up. Pause for just a second before you go down and come back up again. Pause. Good. Nice. Get low. Up and don't forget that pause. Hold. Lovely. It's going to make all the difference. Five seconds. Four. Three. Two. And all the way up, lovely. Drop it down to the floor. Coming onto the other side as we do those inner thigh raises. So foot nice and relaxed out, getting comfortable and raising that under leg. It's your underneath leg that you're bringing up because we want to do our inner thigh. Good, perfect. Really squeeze it right up as high as you can. 
and you will be able to feel it. Good, we all look very comfortable, but I know that we're working super hard. 15 seconds. Amazing job. After this, we have just two exercises left. That should feel so good. So I hope you push through the rest with me. Last one. Amazing. Let's jump up. We're finishing on our two cardio exercises. So we're going for gliders first. Hopping side to side. Really make it nice and springy and get across nice and far. Let's go. Good. Really nice. It has been another hot one today, but we still killed it. We still pushed through. Really good. Halfway now. So close to the end. Don't give up on me yet. Keep those knees nice and soft. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Last exercise. Our last cardio burner. Hands on your head. Are we ready? Four straight jumps, four wide jumps. Let's go. Good. Looking amazing. You have pushed through this whole thing, even if you found it difficult. That's a huge achievement on our Saturday morning. You should all feel great. Happy, fit, good about yourselves. 15 seconds. Keep it up, nearly there. Three, two, one. Woo! We made it. Before we stretch, grab some water. Nice, let's take it down onto the floor. We worked out hard, so we're gonna stretch it down on the floor. Laying on your back. Let's start with my favorite. Let's start with those glutes. Cross the one leg over, hands through the middle, and pull that leg in. Make sure that knee is really facing out to the side. Yes, give it a little bit more pressure, put it in a little bit closer. Good, and swapping over onto the other side. I'll get it through and put it in. You may find that you have one side tighter than the other. That is completely normal. Knee out, it makes all the difference. Exhale, put it in a little closer. Good, release it down. We're going to grab our calf muscle and you're just going to pull yourself in as close as you can. We're going to feel this in our hamstring. Doesn't matter how far your leg is going down, only that you can feel the stretch through the back of it and that it remains nice and straight. As you breathe out each time, pull it a little bit closer, only to where it's bearable. Good, other side, other leg. Grab hold, put it in nice and close. Remember that leg must remain straight for you to feel the stretch. You should feel it all the way up the back of your leg. Each exhale, bring it a little bit closer. Good, release it down. Coming up onto one knee. Push those hips into the floor, knee over your ankle. You're going to take your opposite arm and grab your foot. 
pull it nice and close into your bum and you're going to feel this in your quad. If you don't feel it, push those hips into the floor. And I promise you, you will. Deep breaths. Good, let's swap it over to the other foot. Other foot forward, opposite arm to leg, reaching back and pulling that toe towards your bum as close as you can. Push your hips to the floor and take some deep, deep breaths. This is all about slowing down our heart rate, reducing muscle soreness. Good, release it down. We're going to come into a nice comfortable position. Soles of our feet together. Good, we're going to reach up and we're going to Imagine we're trying to touch our hands and our head up to the ceiling and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to reach forward, pushing up in our head and our hands and then releasing it down when we've reached as far as we can go. You should feel this in your inner thighs. We work them today. Good, and release. Well done. That session absolutely flew by. Look, my hair is flying everywhere because I just threw myself around today. Well done, guys. So did all of you. You did amazingly well. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget, Tuesday, 11 a.m., we've got full body. We'll be working out everything. I'm feeling like we're going to do a little bit of maybe some full body box fit this week. So don't miss out on it. We're going to have fun. Thank you so much. And I'll see you soon. Have a lovely weekend. Every single one of you. Well done for jumping on this morning and working hard. Having lots of fun. Bye.